you guys. All right, so we've had a lot of people ask about our Prusik bracelets, uh, how to time, how to use them, all that sort of good stuff. So we're gonna go through first how to make one. To do that, we're gonna need 550 cord, you need a sharp knife, and you're gonna need a lighter, okay? So once we have those things, then we go into the construction of it. For this 550 cord, you're going to need approximately an arm and a half length of paracord. Once you have that drawn out, a good sharp knife. Make sure that you singe the ends. Singeing of the ends is going to prevent fraying. It allows the paracord to stay nice and clean throughout the entire time. It also protects the inner cord of the bracelet in order to make it last longer. All right, so once we have our paracord cut, we're gonna find the halfway point by matching up our ends, and then bring it taut, find the middle. All right, from that middle, we're going to take that bite that we formed. That's what that's called if you didn't know. We're going to wrap it around our finger, and then underneath, we're gonna be pulling the excess on through. So, all right, once that's through, I'm going to bring that bite around the finger again. Pull it through. And now we have two. And then we're gonna do it a third time. It's important to take pay attention and notice that the wraps of the bite are going on the outside, not the inside. So it always stays on the outside of your coils. See how that works? All right, from here, you take it off of the finger, let it float, bring the line over from one side, feed it on through, same with the other end. Feed it on through. Once that's tied, now we get to clean up our knot, taking up all the slack. All right, and that's what it should look like by the end. From here, we're gonna be doing our sizing, making sure that it fits your wrist. So to do that, grab the paracord, find your two loops, double them up onto each other, wrap it around, and pull the paracord knot, or the Prusik knot, on through and it should fit rather nicely, all right? Once you have it sized appropriately to you, whether that's adding more or less by taking more from the tail and into the loop or taking the less out because you got skinny wrists, doesn't matter. Once you have it situated to your person, you're gonna take the ends, you're going to tie an overhand knot just to lock it into place so that it doesn't shrink on you. And the knot doesn't pull its tails all the way through, preventing it from being functional. So now it locks in. And any excess that we have, just take a sharp knife. And burn your ends. And this time when you burn your end, going to, while it's still hot, press it into the knot. 
That way it helps seal it all the way around on the base there. Do the same thing on this other side too. So now, we have this nice Prusik knot, double loops, wrap it around, stick it all the way around on the wrist, cinch it on up, clean it, make it look more natural. And then on the bottom, what I do is I tuck it, giving it one twist to the line, so it kind of locks it into place and I don't have to worry about it. All right, guys, so uh, that's how we do our paracord bracelet. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead, practice. It's more important to know how to do this off the top of your head so you can do it wherever you end up being, regardless if you have materials available to you or not. Uh, paracord is just a representative material. It doesn't have to be 550 parachute cable, right? It can be any kind of cordage that you find along the way. Uh, I know some materials are going to be much stronger uh, the important part is that you can be able to tie a knot with it right so I know drop six he makes a pretty cool one uh, I forget what material that stuff is that he makes his out of but it is by far stronger and more durable than 550 cord uh, so it actually gives you more capabilities uh, you can use things like Kevlar cordage all sorts of other stuff out there that it's going to be stronger and actually give you more versatility uh, it's just i found 550 core to be much more available of a resource so it's easier to source and make regardless of where you end up all right um again clean up your knots nobody likes a messy dirty knot it's like your bed please make it do good things take care